Hello guys and welcome to this new video and in this video we'll be looking at the CyanogenMod Mod 12.1. Now this essentially is not the version in which you have to use the ADB shell to install. So this is compiled by Technotales Plays from XDA and you can just flash it via recovery, TWRP recovery to be exact. So it does come with Play Store and the G apps included, the basic ones. Okay, so you get the Google Play Store, the login essential, the Play Store and of course the uh, Google Play services. So the essentials are installed, so you can write, you know, just start installing apps right away. You also have the Pixel Master app. You have the all the ask, you know, the Cyanogen OS apps. So if you go into settings, and if you just look into the settings option, and if you just check into an official Cyanogen mod OS, it's essentially the same, which makes me believe that this has been compiled from exactly the original Cyanogen mod sources, which makes it very stable. The GPS works, the Wi-Fi works, both the SIM cards work. And essentially everything works. There is no battery drain at all. Okay, so we'll just go into the battery and show you that. Okay, so as you can see, the cell standby time has been around one day and 10 hours. Okay, and the time without signal is 24%. So I did charge once in between. And as you can see, even if you lose network while you are on a subway, there is essentially no battery drain at all. So I'll just open up the screen on time. It's not much over there. It's 49 minutes because I did not use this phone at all. It was just lying idle. But however, there has been no battery drain so far and it's very good and very impressive. So you get all the latest Cyanogen OS apps. Okay, you get the email from Boxer. You get the gallery app, which is a new app by Cyanogen Mod team. Okay, so you get the Cyanogen apps. You get the new gallery application with it. You also get the new phone dialer with it that comes with it. So this is very nice to use and it's quite usable. So you get the file manager, you get the camera application, the browser, and of course the new audio FX app. So you get all the Cyanogen OS apps, you get a very stable ROM at it. And if you are not a big fan of the resurrection ROM, as I have seen a lot of you aren't, you can definitely try out this Cyanogen mod build. The download links and the install instructions will be down in the description below. It's very stable and I recommend it to be installed for daily day-to-day -day usage. It is much better than the stock ROM. The battery backup is far better on the Cyanogen Mod ROM and on the Resurrection ROM, to be honest. It is much better than the stock ROM. The Cyanogen Mod ROM is light and it might be better than Resurrection ROM for some of you. But to me, both the ROMs are equally stable right now. So you just can just go ahead and install it if you want to and all the links will be down in the description below so thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one